This is Dabu7. In this situation right here is showing exactly what's going on in America. In, in just this one city of Austin, you can see here the police taking action with billboards, using this to get their message across, stating that if you enter this area, passing the billboards, you are entering an area that puts you at your own risk because there's not going to be police there to help you. Since these defunding the police things won't go on, well, there's no police to get paid. And then that means when people come in to rob people and to do all this stuff and the cops get called, no one shows up. So this is also why in this region, the sale of guns have gone through the roof, ammo through the roof. They also have a secondary sign up. It says limited support the next 20 miles. Okay, and these signs were erected after the city council slashed the Austin Police Department's budget in August. So this is what's happening. As the dominoes fall, these actions take place on the ground level. So when people in Austin get robbed or in a car wreck, their house is on fire, getting robbed, who knows what? When police do not show up in these instances, they cannot say why. Because it's obvious why. Everything that's happening here, you're letting them defund them. Of course, then they're not going to be there to protect anybody. This is why gun sales are going through the roof. What about all the people out there that can't have a gun? All the felons in this and that, those that aren't, aren't supposed to be around firearms. Hmm. Mm. They're supposed to just go unprotected. You see the situation that this sets up? Now, certain felons out there, violent felons, shouldn't have weapons, some will argue, but others that got popped or something nonviolent should have a right to defend themselves. So everything there is debatable, but one thing's for sure. When the police are not going to show up in emergencies, this puts the people on their own. So Austin, this is what has been created in your city. I'm going to expand on this in the next live stream, so make sure to join me. All right. I'll leave that up right there. That was uh, Dabu7. But first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harakah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom unto you. Yeah, exactly what he's talking about here. Um is what the scriptures are talking about, okay? You, we're, we're watching this world turn into the description that the Bible uh, has of it, okay? In the end times, all right? And, and particularly this story here uh, by Dabu 7 um, is in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, all right? It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. Yeah, gun sales going up. Okay, because that's the modern day sword is the gun, the killing instrument. Okay. I said, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Hey, just you can do race war, class war, civil war, Trump versus Biden, whatever level you blood versus crip, whatever level you want to talk about it. The one that's most important. It's Jacob versus Esau, okay, and the other nations. That's that's the one that's going to come, and that's going to be fought out right here on, on these soils, man, and it's going to be a problem, okay, for the people. Only if you have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will you make it through uh, these things going on. Anyway, verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, a dividing and a, and a, and a, and a, um, and a, and a, um, a fighting between one another, so to, to put it plainly, okay? And invading one another. When he said people are going to go in your house because there's no, there's no police to stop them, okay? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, don't matter what your status is, okay, in the earth. If you're uh, a local official, if you were a cop, if you are the mayor or, or, or so on and so forth, no one's going to give a damn. They're going to go in your house and take what they want. 
or they're gonna take go what take whatever they want from you. Okay, it says um, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. There won't be no one to stop them. Okay, there won't be anyone to stop when people go take what they want. Okay, to the point where what's coming after this is where where it really gets tricky. Okay, because what is this president talking about? Uh, DJ Trump, what he's been talking about, bringing in the military to do what the police can't do. Now that they defunded the police, you think crime's not going to go up? There's no jobs already. There's more job losses. You think you think that's going to solve the situations? Okay. <laughs> it's going to make it worse. It's going to make crime. It reminds me, matter of fact, let me see if I, I did a video. I'm, I'm sure it's not up anymore. It was called Old Detroit. Talking about um, how bad crime uh, wasn't in, in the city of Detroit because uh, they defunded the police like 20 or 30 percent or down to that much. I forgot it was years ago now, but um, the same thing. And I actually used scenes from the movie RoboCop. OK, you're telling me that's not what they're doing. They're not going to have drones and certain uh, robots out there doing 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 a regular police job, a uh, cop job. OK. It's going to have to be something. OK. It's going to have to be something. But we know what it's going to be. It's going to be war out on the people. Okay, what do you have MRAPs for? That's a civilian city uh, war. When, when you claim that all the, the, the real wars are fought in the desert right now in the Middle East. But why you got certain uh, drones and different things for the soils of America? MRAPs and whatnot for city, urban areas for the, for the cities of America. Helicopters running certain drills over America. Okay? Over certain parts of the city, learning how to block off the city, doing all kinds of drills. Okay? It says, For there shall be a sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because crime is going to get so bad, they're going to have to implement martial law. Okay? Things are going to get that bad, they're going to have to call in. For martial law, okay, Gerger troops, martial law troops, FEMA troops, you know, military, whatever. They're gonna have to call for that to come in, okay. It says, uh, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Hey, it's funny, <laughs> people talking about defunding the police. That was one of the worst things I had ever heard of. So because they're killing black people, let's take away their jobs. How about you train them better? How about you just defund the the, the, the precincts that that have a, an outstanding number of un, of unarmed uh, lawsuits on killing civilians? I, I I don't know. I don't care to solve the problems of America. The way to, that this situation gets solved is when Yahweh Shai comes back to redeem his elect and ushers in the kingdom of heaven, and the statutes, laws, and commandments written in us. Uh, so as to be righteous. Okay, that's what's going to solve it. Everything else will play uh, along those lines. Anyway, it says, A man shall have, let me make sure I read that, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, because the neighbor down the block got a couple chunky-ass guns. You heard him shooting off a couple times. And it seems like that chunky-ass gunshot is starting to make his way down the block towards your house. Yeah, men will be afraid. Okay, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Y'all were cool for the Super Bowl party. Your kids came over and swam at, at, at your neighbor's house and everything else. But now he's coming to take your food and your goods. Okay, it says, but shall destroy their houses with the, with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay. So all these things are coming, but here, here's the next thing um, that'll be coming also. Wait, there's another. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. But what I am going to read is this. Because like I was saying, these troops come in and that creates a problem. Okay. Um, let me see. 68. Yep. Uh, second Ezra 16, 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Yeah, this is all gonna put um, spark the flames of the fire to get to get wild, okay? And and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. 
and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. They consent by taking that mark of the beast, by denouncing the belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So if, like it says in, um, I believe it's First Peter, the fourth chapter, I may have to look for it because I, I believe that's where it's at, where it says, um, um, where, did it, where did it go? Uh, if, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the sinner appear? Okay? So if, if the elect scarcely be saved, what the rest of you evildoers and wicked uh, people of the earth, where y'all going to fall? Two-thirds of Israel, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the, 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 the nation of Israel, also with those, those, um, those uh, Israelite foreigners that we scattered amongst all the other nations that may even look like the nations. You're the Israelites. If you're righteous, man, you have, you have in, in, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, you have a chance. If you're not, you won't get destroyed. But that goes with some of the other nations, too. They're going to get destroyed as well. Not complete nations, but moving on, it says, um, they shall be like madmen sparing none. Yeah. They defended the police. So when they're going in, in there, they're not going to play. They're not going to play games. Okay? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay? Those are the things that are coming. Okay? Those are the things that are coming to the world. And this is one stage of it. California has some shit going on over there. Where those people gonna live with all them fires and whatnot? It's a lot. It's a lot happening. Okay, these are the end times, and it's time to wake up out of sleep because uh, you're gonna have to deal with this. This ain't just gonna be something that happens to somebody in the hood or over there. It's gonna eventually move to all of, all all the country, and event and eventually that that spirit is gonna move through the whole earth. Okay, so just want to bring this out. It was a Dabu video that, that came across today. I just want to put that uh, out there. The, the, to, to, to show you how the scenario could escalate from something just as this okay just by defunding the police okay so with that Lord willing this was edifying giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh B'ashim Yahshai B'ashim HaRakak Wadash double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone greetings salutations and blessings on to the elect to the next one Shalom